Rock and Pop Stories. Bobby Fuller 4, I Fought the Law, 1965. Here's a song with a very long career. It was written by Sonny Curtis, a Texan like his buddy Buddy Holly, who was tragically killed in a plane crash. Although in their youth, Sonny often played with Buddy, he was not a member of his band, The Crickets. Curtis joined them and together they recorded I Fought the Law on The Crickets' first album without Buddy in 1960. And let's face it, it was a failure, rather like the hero of the song who defied the law and failed. Four years later, another Texan from El Paso, Bobby Fuller, set up the Bobby Fuller Four with his brother Randy and two other musicians. They recorded their version of I Fought the Law on a small label, and it was a regional success in New Mexico and West Texas. Signed by a larger label, Delphi Records, they re-recorded the song, which was released in October 65 and was finally a top 10 national hit. A few months later, in July 66, he was found asphyxiated at the wheel of his mother's car. The circumstances of his death remain a mystery, whether suicide or murder, we'll probably never know. A dozen years later, in the summer of 78, Joe Strummer and Mick Jones were in San Francisco to mix Give Em Enough Rope, the second album by their band The Clash. They chose the state-of-the-art Automat Studio, whose owner, David Robinson, collects jukeboxes. It was on one of these machines that Mick and Joe heard I Fought the Law for the first time. They were thrilled by Sonny Curtis's song and immediately decided to record it, but in a slightly darker version, retouching the text, for example, where Curtis had written I Left My Baby, they sang I Killed My Baby. Their version is released on an EP entitled The Cost of Living and is added for the USA on their first album, released there in July 79. The song became one of their classics, and all the punks fell for this loser story. In December 78, they made a live version of the song, which featured at the end of the film, Rude Boy. The story of I Fought the Law doesn't stop there, as dozens of versions exist, by Tom Petty, Brian Adams, Green Day, The Stray Cats and many others. In France, it was La Mano Negra who got hold of it in 92. But more surprisingly, as early as 1966, Claude François, always on the lookout for adaptations of Anglo-Saxon songs, covered it under the title J'ai Joué et puis J'ai Perdu, which sums up the song quite well. But that's another rock and roll story. <laughs> 